So students, in this module, I will define what is cloud computing. What is cloud computing? And I will talk about the five essential characteristics of cloud computing. I will also talk about what are the three types of main services. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. And I will also talk about the public and private cloud. Now, when we say public cloud, it means Amazon cloud. Amazon is the pioneer of cloud computing. And Amazon offered the cloud free of cost. And then, of course, other organizations and companies, they came up with the private clouds. I will also talk about the Amazon business philosophy. And I will also talk about, actually, I will end this module with reference to the size of the Amazon cloud infrastructure. So let's go into the details. So this is the module coverage which I spoke about. So now let's go into the five essential characteristics of the cloud. So you see that these are the five characteristics you can see over here. On demand, self-service, broad network. Let me very very briefly talk about them. Very very briefly talk about them. So on demand services, a consumer can unilaterally provision computing, okay, capabilities such as server time, network storage automatically as needed without requiring human interaction, no human interaction, okay, broad network access, broad network access, capabilities are available over the network and access via standard mechanisms, okay, and thin or thin platforms. Mobile phones, tablers, laptops, workstations, PC, cell, whatever. Resource pooling, the provider's computing resources are pooled to serve multiple consumers using a multi-tenant model with different physical and virtual resources. And they are location independent. Location independence, the customer generally has no control or knowledge over the exact location okay of the provided resources but may be able to specify location at a higher level then we have rapid elasticity rapid elasticity capabilities can be elastically provisioned and released in some cases automatically to scroll rapidly outward and inward to commensurate with demand to the consumer the capabilities available for provisioning often appear to be unlimited unlimited okay and can be appropriate in any quantity at any time. And finally, for everything is to work, it has to be measured. Measured and monitored service. Automatically control and optimize resource used by leveraging a metering capability at a level of abstraction that is appropriate to the type of service. Okay. And resource usage can be monitored, controlled, and reported. Monitored, controlled and reported okay so this is the five essentials of cloud computing all right let's move ahead and we look at the types of services so we have the infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service now how they are related this is shown on the corresponding slide over here so for the network as for the infrastructure as a service over here, who are the users? Network architects are the users and they are quite a few in number. Okay. And they have a lot of control over here. Now, when we talk of platform as a service, no low level operating system commands you have to run. High level programming, backup and management done by this platform as a service. Application developers are there and they are fewer. Okay. And there is moderate control. Okay, moderate control. And then we have software as a service. So in the software as a service, okay, uh, this is at an even higher rung on the evolutionary ladder. With software as a service, all application functionality is delivered over a network. Okay, delivered over the network in a in a package. The user need to do nothing more than use the application. Just use this application. Okay. And provides deals with the hassle associated with creating, operating the application, segregating the user. So the user is free. 
there is less control there are fewer end users and these are the end users okay so this is how they are stacked together this is how they are interrelated this is how there is the control and this is how which is the number of users okay number of users over here so private versus the public cloud so amazon cloud is the public cloud amazon cloud is the public cloud why because it is free to use now of course other businesses cloud is private when they saw the amazon model now how amazon could come up with a model like this because there was no backlog of business it was all new okay and in this private cloud segregating the data at the data center level this is done by the customers who build the cloud and it is obvious that it is not going to be very private so there is a hybrid option also using both the private and the public cloud environments depending upon what you want to do and what you are supposed and required to do so what is the amazon business philosophy the amazon cloud was launched in 2006 and it was the simple storage service s3 and then of course other services were offered and then with the uh, what is the objective is to add services improve the capabilities improve the configurations and make it public okay make it available to the users so as a result there is a literally an explosion in the number of the amazon users the number of objects which are available on the amazon cloud and the number of amazon servers so let's take a look at that volume so amazon is the first and the biggest first and the biggest and it is true okay now if you see from over here from here to here okay this is an exponential growth exponential growth okay this is 700 times increase phenomenal increase in s3 and there is a smart scientist by the name of huan liu who estimate the amazon server based upon the ip addresses and his estimate was about 450000 that was some time back so there is a huge number of amazon servers which are there in the amazon cloud so we can safely say that the cloud and the amazon public cloud they go interchangeably when we say public cloud it means the amazon cloud and amazon is the pioneer okay and here are some of the services and the essentials of cloud computing which i have presented before you that is all for this module thank you very much